Is that your friends? Hi. Hi, friends. Um, we have our car loaded up. I've gone for my walk, like I said I wanted to. I'm on a good streak. Hi, Chelsea. Do you want to tell them about your predictions coming well, true? Hang well, on. No, it wasn't a prediction. It was just an observation that came. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay, tell, tell everyone uh, what you said yesterday and the day before. Well, the first day she started laying her eggs. Dot. Yeah. The hen. Yeah, she started laying her eggs around noon. So I was like, there's a good chance she'll just keep doing that over and over. And you started noticing her behavior. Well, she'll... The same at that same time. Yeah. Like, like leading up to it. Because, like, I woke up at, like, 5 in the morning to just, like, I don't know, I just woke up in the sun. And then I went out there to check on her to let her out because she wakes up pretty early, too. And when I went out there, I let her out. Then around noon, I kept, I went back out there, but she was in her coop, which normally she isn't. She's normally waiting outside in, like, the net part. So once I went over there to try letting her out, she's like, no, I'm going to stay in here. And you're like, yeah, this is happening. <laughs> yeah. And then, right? Then I came back, like, 30 minutes later, and she laid an egg. So I took it. The next day, same thing happened, and it yeah. just kept going. So there's a good well, chance it'll happen. I'm going to come in. Yeah. Actually, I'll be right out. I want to go in. Um, Kaylee just... Um, cooked, the eggs. cooked the eggs for the first time. We got a double yolk. And look how orange they are, or how yellow they are. She has some cheese on it. But look how look yellow. Good. They're so, and this was a, today's was a double yolk? Yeah. Well, Is that what, or you don't know, today's or yesterday's? Was it? Today? Kaylee, these look really good. Can I try a bite? Hold on. I know, good. let me just. Can I try a bite first? Okay, you try this little bite. I just want egg. I don't need to have the cheese on it. Can I just try this yeah, one? Huh, it's pretty good. It's a little strange to be eating them right after she's laid them. <laughs> it's not that weird. It's a little weird. Nothing more. I didn't cook that one. Oh, the, you cooked yesterday's and the day before? Yeah. Here, I'll shut the fridge for you. I know, that's why I'm telling you all. Are you going to make a quesadilla? Cool. Okay, these two are not coming to the lake. Are you going to Jacob's? No, she's upstairs. She's tired today. So, all right. Hey, Charles, how's that house doing over here? I know. <laughs> I like to give her a hard time. Ashley and I are going to go to the lake. And because all of my friends showed up into town yesterday, as you saw, I've convinced them all to come to the lake today. So they're all coming. Let me show you my setup so far. I've got my handy dandy cooler in here. I've got it all set up. I'm going to take a whole bunch of these gogurts. One, because we're just not eating them unless we're going to the lake, and it's usually just Ashley. So I'm using them as ice on top right now, but then I'm going to be the cool person and the cool mom, and I'll share those with the kids because there's hopefully going to be a lot of kids. Then we have brownies. Um, peanut butter sandwiches and I used my Hawaiian honey, so I'm very excited to have that. I'm very hungry And then I have peppers carrots ranch dressing and Something else. I can't remember Oh, we have two poppies in there for Ashley and I Yep, those are good and then I ended up having to stop at the store to get bread to make those sandwiches um, So I got some kettle chips and then I have just our beach stuff in there so that's what's in this little compartment here that'll go into the wagon. I've got the wagon here, umbrella, um, a chair for Ash, a chair for me. She wanted to bring the spike ball and set it up on the beach. You can do this in the water, but um, there's just too many kids in the water and I don't want to be in the water trying to monitor it and keep track of the balls and stuff. So I'm just going to have her do it on the sand. Um, and then I, if she doesn't use this, I probably will if I get in. Um, just to float around the water. I like that. It's just a way for me to not have to blow up a floaty <laughs> and not have to feel like I can borrow, need to borrow someone else's floaty. Um, my, my phone has not, or my car has not been being plugged in at night by a certain someone after he moves the cars. So I've been plugging it in all morning. So I did four miles at the park today and I feel good about that. And I'm very excited. I can't leave the hat it bugs me. Oh, because she's got henna on her back. Oh, I'm going to stick to this. Here. Stick I'm going to move back. my seat. I've been putting my little, here, my yellow towel <laughs> on my seat. 
I'm kind of, I'm actually really sweaty still from going on a walk and then packing up the car and whatnot. So, yes, this is where I'm at in life. But it is just fine. It's just fine. Okay, got our little wagon set up. I think it's quite genius, my friends. And it keeps my water bottles propped up. I think it's great. I know, let's just go. I don't have very many days of getting footage of you walking with the wagon. I can't walk it. You're not walking with it? Oh, but you always do the wagon. Oh. I've been charging my phone, so that's the last thing to get out of the car. Is my phone. These are the good days. I could start singing to embarrass you. Goodbye so fast. <laughs> I could create my own. She's so embarrassed by me right now. <laughs> this is probably why my other kids don't come with me anymore. But you're the good one. No, they're just older. Well, her friend just had to go home. So despite the fact that there's like 40 other kids here now. For younger kids. Younger kids, yes. You are probably one of the oldest kids here. No, Natalie's older than you. But she has friends here now too. So we haven't really filmed much. My umbrella has fallen down twice. But to show feet, we've got a good little crowd here going on. And you're now bored, correct? Go find some friends. They'll have fun with you. All right, I said it before, but a sign of a good day is either lots of videos with lots of laughter and fun in those videos, or it's two videos and nothing in between <laughs> coming and going. I am alone. I'm having to haul the wagon out by myself. I actually got picked up from Abby about an hour, hour and a half ago. But I'm just truly having so much fun. All of us came down. I think there was 10 or so families, 10 or so moms. And uh, they all came down. They're all part of the little OG group that we used to have coming here. So it was really, really fun to have them out here, especially the one visiting from out of town. We got in the water, we floated around because they had floaties. And um, so I'm nice and hot, or nice and, nice and cooled off right now because I'm wet. But uh, I'm trying to look for one of them. So I gotta say goodbye. I don't think I'm gonna see her before she goes home. I gotta find her and load up my wagon. All right, I'm at home. And I actually got some color. Fantastic. I like really tan on camera. <laughs> That's amazing. Probably got sunburn back here. It was kind of hard to keep up with where the sun was at on me. You can't even see my face. You gotta put some. Uh... I put sunscreen all day long, babe. Yes, I put sunscreen on me You're all... You're getting a trophy wife tan. <laughs> Give me trophy wife status and I'll take the tan. You got trophy wife status. <laughs> I don't got any other wife, so... Um, I'm unloading. We pulled in roughly the same time. Here's a sandwich for Ashley. She can have that for dinner. We made two and we only ate one. Um... I need to come in here really quick before I shower, just because this is like the hottest room. I need to come and fold. I hate when my kids do this. I know they're trying to help, but I hate when they do that with my laundry, but I need to go through that. I need to put it away. But I also, we have lasagna and cooking. Chelsea put that in for me. But I have a package. I have to cover up my address. I have a package. And I know what it is my spice containers so I'm gonna go take I'm, this is my this is a treat for me this is like a reward I can't wait to put these together but I don't want to do it all late it's my new spice jars um, spice jars come in a box that big 
Well, there's 24 jars and they're glass, so you need to pack them. <laughs> Look at the judgment. I'm a trophy wife or am I not a, like, do I get to have the status or not? Doesn't mean everything you do is okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm gonna get showered up, do that laundry, and then we're gonna come back and um, put the spices in these jars and get them back into the cupboard. That'll be really fun for me. Cause we still have like 50 minutes left on the la lasagna. Do we have, we don't have any peas. We could do, do you like green beans, Abby? Not really. Okay. I don't know if we have any other vegetables. We'll have to go to Costco Friday to get all the fresh. We're, we're going through the fresh stuff. So we'll have to go and just do the fresh food run at Costco. So I'm gonna go do that laundry and we'll come back with the jars. Okay, I realized I needed to wash them. Where are they? That one is the jars. What jars? And that is a jar holder. What jars? They're spice jars. And that's the holder. Spices. <laughs> you don't cook. <laughs> I do use spices, you just don't see me using you spices. Don't I don't cook right now because it's hot, but I do cook. I'm trying to do better. Why are you throwing me under the bus? You don't cook for us. Because you don't eat my food, Mrs. Peanut Butter Sandwich. Okay, let's see the jars. They're cute. They're cute. Don't okay, we gotta wash them. They have labels. Yes, they do. I've got some soapy water going in here. Do you wanna come and wash them for me? They just need to be like rinsed with the soapy water. No? What a traitor, I take you to the beach and then you don't help me. You said my friends were gonna be there only one for 30 minutes. Well, no, because I thought you'd play with the other two ladies, friend, like daughters. Well, I didn't know they were gonna have other friends there. Well, I didn't know that she would either. They didn't say that ahead of time either. Okay, we're gonna put these in the hot water. Okay, she is rinsing them. We've just had them been soaking in some soapy water. We've got them, she's watching a show. Got all the lids. Um, I might just rinse these off with water and lay them out. But she is washing the jars right now. I don't want to get these lost down in there, so do that next. I'm trying to not get these lids in any of the water, though. Okay, I have showered. I'm really hot, though. So I am going to towel dry the rest of this. Yeah, they're almost dry, but I'm going to towel dry them. And then the tricky part is going to be emptying them into the jars but I don't really know if I'm gonna take the time tonight to do, I don't know what I should do. I need to put the labels on them, but I don't know, maybe I should just do it all at the same time. Put the label on it, then put the spice in. So I'm gonna, maybe just I'll just do one at a time. Okay, we've got all of the spice, cinnamon, cloves, got all those done. All right, I kinda got into my zone. I made a mess on the towel that I had over there, but they are all jarred. These guys did not get any jars because I don't have one big enough for those. Plus, I think maybe these have gone bad. I don't know. And then Lowry's, I didn't have an extra one, but that one's labeled, so I just left that. This is extra cinnamon, and then we know that that's probably our mystery cocoa powder. So, we are now going to put them up here. I also have my, like, vanillas and things like that. What is this one? Oh, Everyday Bagel, er Everything Bagel, and Cinnamon Sticks. So, we've got those up there as well, but I've got my little, where did it go? Do you have my little, oh, it's right here. Also, I better hurry and eat, or else I'm not gonna get dinner. Um, everyone kinda ate around me. But I've got this cute little rack that I also got, and it just opens up. Okay, there, I keep sneezing. I keep sneezing like crazy because I just did the pepper, the taco seasoning that has pepper in it, and the chili powder. So my nose is going crazy right now, but I've got it to this point. I don't know if I need to take out the jar, so I'm going to see if I can fit them all up here. All right, the turmeric was hiding behind everything, and I forgot to do a jar for that, but we don't use this one as often. And then this is my backup for the cinnamon, and we have the everything bagel. I don't use it very often. I'm probably just gonna put it in the other side because this is how it is. And I just, <laughs> it's so cute. I am gonna probably use these or dump them into another jar and put them in the other cupboard. Um, those are the two hot cocoa ones. This is the cinnamon sticks and my Lowry's sea salt. Um, so I've got those ones kinda hiding because I don't like the look of those. 
Um, and then the OCD in me wants to leave all of these little yellow ones on this shelf right here. Um, but they don't quite fit, but I, it's just hard for me to like put one yellow one up there. Like that's hard, but maybe I, maybe I just need to like space these guys out or a little, I don't know. I guess that's okay. I don't know. That's just me being kind of crazy, but anyway, so I think it looks cute. So I've got all the yellow ones on this front. And then I always use like green ones. I always use Italian seasoning, oregano, thyme, basil. I use those ones the most, along with like onion powder and mustard and garlic powder. I use those ones a lot, so I put those ones up front. Then on the second shelf back here, I have like the, what I call the fall flavors. Cinnamon, nutmeg, pumpkin spice, cloves, and allspice. These are like my fall ones, and then these are all spicy. I've got like the peppers, the chili powders, taco seasoning, um, paprika, all the spicy ones are on the back row. So you get my towelette, <laughs> my towel hair. Um, let's see if I went curly, just from having it up. One of these days I'll get brave, and I'll do it like a wet curl or something. See if I can get any curls to go. So anyway, I've got that all done for the evening. And um, I'm hungry and I'm very tired. My legs are sore. I've got to figure out where to put these guys. Um, this is staying pretty well right here. I don't want to clutter it, but I've got to find a place to put these guys. So I think I'm just gonna, which I put, should put the, maybe I'll put the turmeric and these backup swans up high. I'll get a stool or a hug Jason to it because that's gonna be in the way of like the the brown sugar. I'll put those ones up on the very top shelf. There's a little space right right across there. I'll do that another day. I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Come on, people. Oh, gosh. Ugh. I'm so tired. What's... Yeah, maybe put things away better. I should take that more often. Okay, I need you to do that. I'm done. No one put it away right, so it's all fallen out onto the shelf. Oh. All right, we're gonna sign off with you guys, or I am. I'm done. If Jason wants to pick up the camera, he will, but he won't. <laughs> um, all right, take care, you guys, and I had a fun day with my friends. I need to get caught up on life tomorrow, and I um, haven't really made any plans, but I'm sure Ashley will find some friends, hopefully. Hopefully Ashley can find some friends to play with tomorrow. So take care and we will see you guys next time.